I'll ask you one more time. Is Chidori your real name? <sighs> what kind of organization is Strega? Are there others besides you three? <sighs> hey! Hey, Junpei! You're not supposed to be here, remember? Chidori! Junpei! Sorry, he wouldn't stop asking about where she was. How are you feeling? Looks like you calmed down now. <sighs> she certainly has. In fact, she won't say a word. Maybe we should confiscate her sketchbook, too. Come on, you don't have to go that far. Taking that away isn't gonna make her talk. I'm not so sure. She was quite upset when we took her evoker. Speaking of which, where did you get your hands on that? Uchiha. Give it back to me! I want her back! Hey, didn't I tell you not to bring that up? What else am I supposed to do? I'll have someone else try next time. Why did you take her from me? Tia. Takeba, call a nurse. We're done for today. I'll let Ikutsuki san know we're having difficulties. Oh, okay. Come on, Junpei. Let's go. Chidori. What happened to you? Thank you. 
it's starting to settle down, I think. Thank you for coming. It's comforting to have someone with me. Why do I have to face this alone? Why am I the one? I can't run around like I did as a child anymore, because my legs and heart won't even let me. All that's left is to draw my sheets around me and count the beats of my heart until they stop forever. Why is this only happening to me? <laughs> of course not. No one could. I don't even know. I mean, I understand the reason I'm dying, but what even is the meaning of it? There isn't any meaning to life that I can find, so perhaps I'm not missing all that much. I wish I could run away, but if my body were capable of that, I wouldn't be here anyway. No matter what I do, my body is there to remind me I'm going to die. Why? Why me? just yet. It's almost too much for me if I'm alone. <sighs> yes, you're right. But I'd still like to talk for just a little longer. I'm feeling a little better now. Thank you. fine now. I hope I can see you again soon. acceptable I've completed registration ah fusion is it please choose the personas you would like to fuse take all the time you need to consider Satisfied with this? What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive a fair amount of extra power. Well, 
then, shall we begin? beneath you. Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive a large amount of power. Well, well, well. Satisfied with this? Please choose what skills to inherit. It seems no new powers have been bestowed upon you. It's finally time. Finished? Marvelous!
morning. Yeah. I'm looking around. Let be. Uh, running a little sale today. See if anything catches your eye. That what you want? All right then. Everything stocked here is through my person. Huh? Made up your mind. All right then. That what you want? Great. It's all yours. I never felt like. All done here? Come back soon.
you're too fragrant. Roses aren't really my thing. Maybe... Gerberas? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm redecorating my room and was thinking of getting some flowers to go with it. I think I'll go with the Gerberas. What color do you think I should get? <laughs> you think so? I like pink too. I guess we have the same taste, huh? Then it's decided. I'll get these. Hmm. Come to think of it, Gerberas by themselves might be a little plain. What other flowers do you think would look nice? Oh, wait, you've never seen my room, have you? <laughs> well then why am I even asking you? <laughs> but it's the tree. To be honest, any flowers would be fine if they were from you. Just kidding. <laughs> I get? I'm actually a pretty indecisive person. Hmm. A ranunculus wouldn't be bad either. Does it? You think you can see this through to the end? Good answer. Let's just hope you can maintain that enthusiasm. Once you start something, you gotta see it through to the end. I only dabbled in this back when I was a kid, but it'll probably turn out fine. Now, still at the orphanage. I learned a bunch of stuff with Aki. I'm talking too much. Let's get back to work. That should do it. This kind of work is usually easier with more people. Come help out again when you've got the time. Let's head back now. And wash your hands after handling all that soil. like Chidori still ain't back yet. I get it's her own fault for running off on her own, but she's still one of us, you know? We gotta help her somehow. Don't be impatient, Jin. If she hasn't yet freed herself, that must mean her evoker was taken. Our first objective must be to retrieve it. It would mean nothing to free Chidori without it. For us, our persona is as precious as our very lives. We should wait for an opportunity. They found their own navigator, their own set of eyes. Without Chidori, we'd only be playing into their hands. 
Yeah, you're right, Takaya. Sorry I lost my cool there for a second. But what are we gonna do? They took down that shadow during the last full moon like it was nothing. If they got someone who can predict our moves, it'll be hard to catch them off guard. <sighs> yes, that's true. By the way, what is that thing? It looks like some kind of clunky evoker. This is one of the first evokers ever developed. I suppose you could call it a prototype. Oh, that's right. You've never seen this before, have you, Jin? <laughs> this was truly a terrible piece of work. In exchange for drawing out the full extent of a persona's latent power, the cost is that they become exceedingly difficult to control. Especially for those who had their power forced upon them, like ourselves. To a persona that has lost control, the user is but a shackle. In those days, it was more commonplace to be killed by our own personas than by the shadows. This was the result of one such killing. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. So, that's why you don't use an evoker? Hardly. The real reason is far more practical. I don't use one because I have no need. I don't require something as inelegant as a tool to prove my resolve. You really are something special, Takaya. Yet, there is always someone out there who is even greater. Such as... One who can wield multiple personas. <sighs> Am I feeling... Attachment for someone? Impossible. <laughs> the guy? <sighs> Such a thought is beneath me. What do you think, Yamagishi? Do you sense anything? No. <sighs> By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't trying to keep you hostage. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Shidori? <laughs> you're back again. Why are you so hung up on her, Junpei? Did she say anything? Not a word. Let me talk to her. Yori, you're getting really emotionally invested in this. Is everything all right? Well, I know she attacked me, but I don't know. I, I just can't get her out of my head. Please, let me do this. Call for desperate measures, I suppose. All right, see if you can get through to her. Got it.
You okay? <sighs> I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. Wow, you're still drawing pictures, even in the hospital? You really do like to draw, huh? <sighs> it doesn't matter. She spoke to him. Only I can understand my drawings. Wait, Chidori! Your arm, it's bleeding! Duh, not again! Yamagishi, get the doctor. All right. What happened? Why are you bleeding? She does it to herself. I thought I took all the sharp objects in here. She did this to herself? Apparently, we can't leave her unattended for even a moment. But at the very least, she seems to heal at an astonishing rate. Let, let go of me! And that cut on your hand back at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for you to worry about me. You are the one who jumped to conclusions. Well, I want you to stop. I can't be doing that. I'm not just saying this because I'm worried about you. I don't want to see you hurting yourself. All right? Uh -huh. The doctor will be here soon. You should head back. Right. So, you seem to have found your voice.
dog in the jungle gym were so scary. I thought I was gonna die. Thanks for helping me, mister. Yeah, thanks, Koromaru. And I brought them here. I knew where to find Koromaru all along. I heard from the priest. He said Koromaru would be at the shrine gate, looking after all the people in town. So, even though he found a new spot, he's still protecting us? I knew it! Kuramaru is this town's watchdog! Oh, by the way... Are you Koromaru's new owner? Is there really a difference? <laughs> well, as long as he's happy. Uh-oh, we better get home soon. Whoa, you're right! Okay, see you guys later. Can I help you? With me? Okay, but why so suddenly? You aren't worried about me, are you? If so, thank you, but I'm totally fine. I'll do that. You're really caring, senpai. Thanks for going out of your way to check on me. I'll do my best not to worry you. Well then, good night. Uh, come to think of it, I haven't had dinner yet. I should probably eat something. Uh, um, senpai? You wouldn't happen to be hungry, would you? Welcome! Take any open seat. <sighs> He's not here. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Sorry for asking you to go out all of a sudden. 
I just wanted someone to come with me. It's a little intimidating going to get food by myself. People tend to stare when they see an elementary school kid like me out on his own. Your order? Two specials coming right up. Seems like that's the thing to get, huh? Thanks for ordering. So, I saw some people from our dorm stop by here a while back. Like Sonata-san and that guy who recently joined, Aragaki-san. Do you come here with them too? What kinds of things do you talk about? Oh, sorry for asking something so weird. I just thought I should know a bit more about everyone, since we'll be fighting together from now on. But it's good either way, because I've always wanted to have a proper chat with you. Everyone in the dorm is amazing, but you're on a completely different level. I can't believe how many personas you're able to use. Here you are. Ikutsuki-san and Mitsuru-san said that each person normally has only one persona, and that it doesn't change. That means what I saw back then was really... Uh, it's nothing. Sorry. Shall we eat? Oh, I finished all the soup, too. I'm stuffed. Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, the Melancholy of Swallow, will air this winter as a TV special. Huh? Wow, a spin-off with Swallow as the main character. I gotta make sure I record that. It is! This is big news! Swallow doesn't usually make much of an impression, but there's a theory that he's actually stronger than Hawk! Uh, I, uh, heard that from a friend. TV shows like that seem to be popular in my class. I only watch them, so I have something to talk about. <laughs> anyway, it's been a while since I've enjoyed a meal like this. I guess it's because I'm eating with you. You're really easy to talk to, and the ramen was delicious. Maybe next time we can... Um, that's nothing. It's getting late. We should start heading back. It was delicious. No, this food was not delicious. Don't let yourself think like that. Hey, Amara! You on your way home? Mm, us too. We just finished eating dinner. Oh, are you from the same class, Amara-kun? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Oh yeah, Amara, you gotta join next month's soccer tournament. We've all been waiting for you, you know? We can even practice together after school. I'll have to pass. I'm not even sure if I could make it next month. Aw, oh, come on! We can't win without you! You're better than all of us! You can't pressure someone like that. Can't you see you're bothering him? I'm sure Amada-kun has a lot going on. Isn't that right? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. Please excuse us. You should hurry home too, Amada-kun. Home. Come on, let's get going. Your grandma is waiting for us. But Mom, if Amada doesn't <sighs> sorry join about us, that. we're gonna get <sighs> No, it's not that. I just have enough to do. The second semester has already started, and we have to go to Tartarus at night. I know we'll be going through a lot from now on, so I decided to not make any promises. More importantly, sorry for keeping you out so late. Let's make our way back to the door.
Koromaru, I'm so glad to see you again. I was worried when I didn't see you at the Shrine Gate. But here you are, looking better than ever. <laughs> and so well-dressed. You've become quite the fashionista, haven't you? Oh, <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Live in the storm? Is Koromaru in good hands here? Oh, I thought so. By we, I take it you mean everyone in the storm looks after him. I'm glad you found somewhere you can relax again. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. You can live wherever you choose. I have to get going. Take care now, the both of you. <laughs> What's wrong, Koromaro-san? <laughs> I see. So that's what's troubling you. That woman from earlier. She offered to take Koromaru-san in at one point. But at the time, he still had unfinished business to attend to. Of course, she is unaware of that fact. So in all likelihood, she may still carry the wrong impression about Koromaru-san's feelings. Everything all right? Would this happen to be about Koromaru? Don't 
Don't worry, I understand. Sometimes you don't even need words, right? He's such a sweet, smart boy, isn't he? So really, I'm all right. But thank you for being so thoughtful. The way he's by your side. He looks just like he did when he was with the priest. He must really trust you from the bottom of his heart. Please, take good care of Koromaru. been blessed with so many wonderful friends. Be sure to cherish them, okay? You'll be at that dorm from now on, won't you? <laughs> well, I'll have to visit you again then. Looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Come to think of it. A shame. By all means. Very well, then. Four days ahead of us, put your hands up. Wave us out of sight for good luck, uh. For a nice like this, put your hands up. Love the moment we even from dusk, yo. You always got my back, and of course I got your back. Don't you worry about that.
attention, please. So that's why. Don't call me that. <laughs> Come on, lighten up. Here, I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. I don't remember asking you to do that, Junpei. <laughs> you finally called me by my name. I wasn't sure if you'd ever say it again. She finally started talking, but she hasn't said anything useful so far. Well, it's a start. More of a response than we got from her. So, why are you here? <coughs> Shidori, what's wrong? Something right there. An enemy? Wrong. Move. <sighs> Shinori! Relax. The persona just went berserk. It happens. It happens. Weren't you guys watching? You could see her persona strangling her for a second. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants. To keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? Wait, do you know something about Strega? Some things you only pick up stepping off the straight and narrow. I'll give the duck the meds I have. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hey! Uh. I... Junpei? <sighs> Thank God. I thought you were gonna die. What do you mean? Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you talking about? Dying just means you won't wake up tomorrow. That's all. What the hell are you saying? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want that. You hear me, Chidori? I don't want you to die. Junpei. It doesn't matter if you're not afraid. That's not the point. I don't want to have to live in a world without you. <laughs> You're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, wait! Shinji! <sighs> what the hell's going on? Why did you have those suppressants? I've heard about what they do. They're taken to reign in a persona when the user can't control it. But 
the side effects. You're not taking them, are you? Answer me! I don't have to tell you shit. Why are you always like this? Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power. You can't stand the sight of someone so half-assed, right? I'm sick of your damn preaching. Shit. You don't understand at all. You should already know. Ten years ago, when the orphanage burned down, I couldn't save my sister. Back then, I wasn't strong enough to get past the adults holding me back to even try. <sighs> That's why I try so hard. I thought you felt the same way. We promised each other to become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why? Why'd you start taking those drugs without telling me? I'm back in the fight now. I have no reason to suppress my persona anymore. So just let it go. Damn it. <laughs> and the side effects. Hmm. There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. I gotta take responsibility. What do you mean? Listen. Quit worrying about me. Just do what you think is right. Got that? Shinji. my requests. Wonderful. Marvelous. Oh, yes. will await a report of success. Come to think of it. I will await a report of success.
It's a shame. I will await a report of success. Very well then. Accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Is that so? Wonderful. My apologies. Day. 
I shall be waiting then. I've been waiting for you. So this is a shrine. It's quite similar to a temple, is it not? A mysterious presence lurks here, though it is markedly different from a shadow. Well then, I shall first observe the local traditions and pay my respects. I wonder if this is enough. Is there a problem? I'd heard that the effects of this mystical divine grace were proportional to the amount offered. In any event, I have finished presenting my offering. Come to think of it, this system of monetary offerings is very similar to that of the fountain. There are a great many locations in your world where supplicants may request good fortune. You live in a truly wondrous place. Could those paper strips tied there be... Just as I thought, these are paper fortunes. I've heard of this game. People entrust their destiny to a slip of paper, finding the risk far too exhilarating. I see. There are many possible destinies written on them. Well, then, I'd like to experiment with this for myself. Please wait here while I work on obtaining every single variation. Excuse me. I've been curious ever since we arrived. But what is that equipment over there? If memory serves, these are a slide and a jungle gem, correct? I see. In the presence of a true god, upholding a pretense of gravitas is all but meaningless. What a magnanimous and introspective message. If that is the case... Fascinating. In order to attain joy, one must first claw one's way to the very top. This playground equipment teaches a profound lesson on the true way of the world. Well, that was certainly entertaining. Now, could you please instruct me in the proper use of the jungle gem over here? Get out. Oh dear, it's rather difficult to maintain one's balance. The day was even more enjoyable than our other outings thus far. Hmm. To be honest, lately I've been wondering. Do I find this world enjoyable simply because of the novelty of the stimuli it presents? Or another possibility? Perhaps I enjoy myself on these excursions because of your company. In any event, I believe I'll have to negotiate with my master to install a horizontal bar in our room. I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime, if you wouldn't mind. Well then, I suppose we should call it a day. But before we do... I'd like to go on the slide one more time. Shall we seize the opportunity and go in tandem? Ooh. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Come to think of it.
Very well, then. What do you want to do now? Karaoke? Mommy? Where are you? Hmm? Mommy! Where are you? <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Are you lost? <laughs> she, she's not going back. <laughs> hey, don't cry. See, you're okay now. I'll stay here with you, all right? Hey, look. We can get help over there. Come on, follow me. The policeman will know what to do. He'll find your mom, so don't worry. <sighs> what a relief. I'm glad he was able to contact the parents. What were they thinking leaving that poor kid all alone? Stuff like that really makes me upset. But I guess my own mom's no different. Why do you want to know? Sorry, I didn't mean to poke fun at you. Remember what I told you before? How my mom and I aren't very close? Well, if you ask me what kind of parent she is, I'd say a terrible one. She wasn't always like that, though. After what happened to Dad, she totally changed. She's probably living with one of her boyfriends somewhere. Honestly, I'd rather not know. Anyway, I'm done talking about this, okay? Uh, could we keep this between you and me? You're the only one I've told. Sorry. I'm not in the mood for karaoke anymore. Let's go home. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. You have my thanks.
want. Accepting a request? Let's hear the results. How splendid! Very well then. Are my requests wonderful? Oh, my, you have my thanks. Very well, then.
Hey. Oh, hey. See ya. See ya. Oh, hey. See ya. Hey. Oh, hey. All righty. You look awfully young, kid. Still in high school? What are the employees here thinking letting someone like you in? Well, <clears throat> since you got me a drink, I'll pretend I'm your guardian so you don't get thrown out of here. Take a seat. Well, come on, kid, sit down. I'm having a look at at you, straining my neck. So. Wanted to see where adults spend their time, huh? Not that I can't relate. Well, don't worry. Two or three more years, you'll be old enough to hang out here unsupervised. Just take it easy, kid. You'll be legal before you know it. No need to rush. Trying to act like an adult just makes you look more like a kid, you know? <laughs> I guess that sounds funny coming out of an alcohol drinking cigar smoking monk, huh? <laughs> well, what does it taste like? Like leaves. I can't think of any other way to describe it. Man, it ain't supposed to taste good. I just smoke because it helps me think straight. Young people always think the grass is greener on the other side. Well, don't get your hopes up too high, kid. That way, you won't be disappointed when things don't work out. Because there might come a time when you'll have to drink when you don't want to, and smoke just to get through the day. You're nothing like those punks I see running around town these days. <laughs> I'd say the same for my son, though. Always being taken in by the police for questioning. It's disgraceful. <laughs> I'm gonna remember your face, kid. Next time you come in here, I'm gonna have you thrown out. Got it? <laughs> Morning. Yeah.
Okay, then. something I want you to try. And this time, it isn't just for a taste test. I think you'll actually be able to eat it. Wait, uh, maybe I said the same thing last time. Well, now I mean it. with cooking? Well, I decided to try and find a recipe that even I couldn't mess up. And after a lot of consideration, I thought maybe making rice balls is something I could handle. But then I got really absorbed in how simple they are to make, yet still so hard to master. I made some rice balls today in home economics class, too. I know it's a little silly to make something so basic in high school, but it was all I could manage. But then, everyone in the class told me they were really good, though. Anyways, I've been really looking forward to have you try one. I wanted you to see how much progress I've made. Because I don't think I could have made it this far without you. Thanks. I know I've said this before, but... When I'm with you and the rest of the team, I'm able to see things more positively. And I think the most important thing is the feeling of wanting to make others happy. That might be the reason why I made such good rice balls. Because I was thinking about who was going to eat them. Of course! Just let me know anytime you want some. I just wanted to say... Thank you so much. Really. So, it turns out, there's actually a trick to making good rice balls. The first thing to note is while you're washing the rice,
Welcome. Why, thank you. Morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. This time in particular, I believe this human is an acquaintance of yours. Goodbye now. Next topic. is gonna be here today but they said we still can't give you back your evoker I wasn't expecting them to that's why I'm in here in the first place oh yeah how's that cut doing ah right probably healed already huh so uh, you're not drawing today does it matter well uh, not Really? Huh. Your flowers wilted. Uh, the heat must have got to them. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some fresh ones? What's your favorite kind of... Hey, 
Well, what's wrong? <sighs> huh? Flowers. Yeah, those are cut flowers, right? Whoa. How'd you do that? I gave them a little bit of my energy. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? This is just another form they can take. Well, yeah, I guess. But that's about all I've got going for me. Without this power, I'd be a nobody. I just talk a big game. Pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. A good reason to live? Good reason. When I was a kid, I had this silly dream. A dream? I used to want to grow up to be a pro baseball player. Pretty stupid, huh? But I guess that's part of being a kid. I wouldn't really know. I don't remember much from my childhood. I only remember one thing. Being surrounded by white. Everything was white. Hmm. I hate hospitals. Oh, you do. Um, sorry. But you've been coming to see me here. So, I don't mind as much this time. Shidori. Did you mean it? Then I'll come to see you every day. everyone for what they've done for me. But only knowing how to make rice balls isn't going to cut it. I told myself I needed to do something more, but then I started to doubt myself again. That's when I thought of you. So what I'm saying is, um, I'd like you to help me for just a bit longer. And I'd really appreciate it if you could keep giving me your advice. I promise I'm going to do the best I can. So, can I count on you? Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. I just want to thank everyone for helping me find my place in the world. I know I don't seem very reliable, but I want to make myself a useful member of the team. Thank you. <laughs> it feels so reassuring to have your support. More than anything, though, I want to keep learning. For your sake, too. I'd like to be able to help you with more than just fighting. Wondering, you don't think I'm... I'm overdoing it, right? Sorry, I guess I'm the only one who can answer that. Hmm. I'm going to head back now.
Familiar? You here again, kid? <laughs> Even Buddha's not that forgiving. All right, that's it. I'm gonna hand you over to the bouncer and... Well, there's no Buddha in this world, so... Stop looking at me like that and sit down, kid. So tell me, is it that fun hanging out with an old monk whose own wife and kid left him? How come you're always alone when I see you? Don't you got any friends? Well, either you like being alone or you've got problems. In any case, well said. No hesitation whatsoever. Don't worry if you don't got any friends. Most of life's troubles come from human relationships anyway. Let's define a friend as someone you hold dear. The way I see it, no one in this world ever really cares for others. People always want something out of a relationship. They only really love themselves. You don't call someone who doesn't like you your friend, do you? No. Because you know you won't get nothing from them. Which means in this world, there's no one you can truly hold dear. At the end of the lonely road of love, kid, you're the only one left standing there. What? You see those gals over there? The ones on the dance floor? You can bring one of them over here. I'll be your friend in return, eh? What do you think? I know you can do it. any second now go home for now kid besides i know you're gonna come again anyway even if i tell you not to hi it's been a while Three seasons have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly, and in that time, many things change. But at the same time, some things in this world will always remain the same. Don't you agree? Hmm. If that's what you think, then maybe you're right. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. Like that tower, for one. It's been on my mind a lot lately. I wonder, will our relationship stay the same? Or will it evolve? <laughs> no matter what the future holds, you and I will always be friends. That much is certain. See you again. But until then, good night. <laughs> <laughs>